going to do a Baduri cook uh, roast lamb and uh, the lamb I've got inside obviously they're going to get the fire going. The um, Baduri is fairly new but has been seasoned and uh, there's a heap of really good seasoning videos. You can cook egg and bacon in this. The beauty of the Baduri is it's a nice light uh, pot but the the, the top of it you can actually use as a fry pan as well. So uh, I'll show you that in another video. First thing of course we've got to do is uh, get, the, oh, there we go, is get the fire going. The Baduri's and any fire play is always going to get hot and uh, met a guy at Carnarvon Gorge and he said you've got to get welding gloves and the welding gloves make it super duper easy to get anything in and out of the fire without um, roasting your fingers as well. So the fire is definitely going. Um, I cheated, used a few fire lighters to get that happening, a little bit of kindling, gave it a heap of air and um, and now what we're going to do is start prepping the meat um, and yeah I'll show you that and uh, we're going to use a trivet as well. So back in a sec. We need the coals here as well so I've lit this earlier, it's really hot where I am at the moment um, but this is all about the coals because the coals are what's going to make the roasts uh, absolutely gorgeous and the great thing about Baduri is that they take less time to warm up so um, it's a much quicker cook. What we've got, uh, we've got the Baduri make my own little spice mix this is a beauty, um, nothing sort of weird in that, just got some potatoes from Coles, I reckon Coles do the best meat, this is just a little half roast leg of lamb with a small leg in it um, and uh, we're going to have some carrots and uh, that is the Baduri uh, trivet. So that's going to go in the bottom to stop things from burning. Um, as far as the prep goes, Baduri is a piece of cake. Uh, uh, don't be afraid of them, I was. In here, you just rough cut all the veggies. Um, you can spice the meat. I put some garlic in the meat as well. And that's pretty much ready to go. You don't go um, bad either, getting a bit of oil on top of all of it and then some spice through the um, some spice through the veg as well so I'll give them a wrap around there is the lamb you got the um, the veggies I'll just you know put a bit of oil over them we're gonna make the coals uh, get a bit more of the fire going get the coals right it's uh, was it four five o'clock now by 6 30 we should be right so it's time for a beer and uh, yeah, beautiful. Unfortunately, I put the um, I put the coals on too late, and uh, might be able to see over here they didn't really work out. But I luckily stuck um, some of the heat beads on. So let's have a look. This has been on for just over thirty minutes now, and uh, we'll just take these guys off the top, and then we'll lift the lid off and have a look because. We just want to see how it is looking in here. So there we go. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. That's looking fairly fab. And uh, I might just give it a bit of a, a bit of a turn. Um, definitely been sizzling away nicely. Veggies are, are on the way to soft. So um, they're going to be really, really soft when it's finished. Because I reckon this guy's got a good another sort of 30, 40 minutes to go at least. I've been controlling the, um, the Baduri with uh, sticking, I might be able to show you here, because I've just got them sitting on the coals or on the heat beads here, but you can actually add a few more beads if you wish. That's the beauty of these gloves, right? Because you can't burn your hands. So um, I'll just whack him back on and whack the lid back on. And I reckon that's going to be good for a little while. So uh, there you go, back in a little bit, and uh, we'll see how it's looking in about 40 minutes' time. All right, so it's been on for an hour and a half. Make sure you just drop a little bit of water in. So I've put probably a cup of water into that, but that is looking pretty bloody good. But I reckon it will be a beauty. Hope you enjoyed.